Let's just look at an example if you've actually run Skipgram. And here what I've done is I've trained the Skipgram model exactly as I've explained it before on this AG News data set. And what I do to basically visualize um, qualitatively what the model is learning is I train the model on this data set and then I give the model a particular word. Okay, so for instance, referendum. And then I find, according to cosine distance, all the words in my vocabulary that's closest to referendum. So remember, referendum has a particular word embedding associated with it. All the other words in my vocabulary also have word embeddings associated to it. I calculate the distance between the referendum embedding and all the other words in my vocabulary. And then what I print out is just the um, one, two, three, four, five closest words to referendum and the corresponding cosine distances. So you can see that the closest word to referendum is mandate. You have like words like vote and ballot and vowing and constitutional. And that makes sense. Uh, Venezuela, um, Savage, mispronounced, sorry, Venezuelas, okay, Venezuelan, um, Hugo, I think Hugo Savage, um, uh, counties, and so on. War, you've got terrorism, raging, resumed independence, and deportation, and um, you can go, th go through the rest. Here are some um, more um, examples. So you've got Schumacher, um, this associated with Ferrari and then I think truly was another racer in a specific uh, area um, era in um, in Ferrari's history similar Rubens Barrichello was was Michael Schumacher's teammate for a long time but this was a while ago so Rubens and Barrichello is associated with Ferrari as well obviously Schumacher is as well so you can just by looking at these things you can maybe even get an idea of um, the time frame in which this um, data set was recorded. I mean, Sachin Tendulkar was an uh, amazing cricket player for a really long time. You can see like Kolkata um, associated with a good um, IPL team. Um, so it's quite interesting to um, visualize these embeddings in this qualitative way and look at what the model is actually um, learning underneath.